Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that beginning clip of this beautiful 2014 Ram 2500 Mega Cab. Bit of a mouthful there, but this truck is really awesome, and my great friend allowed me to borrow it for a couple days while he was out of town. And I want to really make this video because when he was building this truck, he was... We were both trying to figure out, you know, what size wheel and tire, how aggressive of an offset can you go on just a level truck? You know, trying to be affordable, but trying to make it look really nice. And there really wasn't a whole lot out there that for this specific build that he was kind of going for. And that build that he was going for was, again, an affordable, just a leveled truck, but he wanted 35s for sure, but he also wanted a very aggressive offset, and we're going to get to that here in a second. Um, and, and really, that's really the only purpose of this video I want to talk about is this is the look of the truck you can get. Uh, and how big can you go with your wheel and tire while again also just leveling it and keeping it somewhat affordable so let's get it right right into it this is a zone off-road leveling kit and it is really high quality when all the components showed up we looked at them before they were put on the truck the shocks are nice the spacers are really nice heavy duty and then um, so that is the level that is put on it and then the wheel and tire setup and this is where I believe he kind of nailed it as far as as big as you can go on just a leveling kit without having too many issues so this is um running fuel vandal 20 by 12 negative 44 offset that negative 44 offset is huge and and it just if you if you know really anything i guess about wheels and tires when you start getting into that big of a negative offset you're dealing with a very aggressive wheel so uh, that is the wheel and then the tire are cooper discovery st max um and they're a size 12 uh, 35 12 50 20 so got big old 35s on here it's a it's a 12 wide wheel and a 12 and a half wide tire so you get that really nice flush uh, there's no bulge there's no stretch it's just really flush with the wheel and tire um, and then of course your 20s so um, I believe that as far as the size goes this truck is really running its max wheel and tire size with that offset. Rubbing is always kind of an issue or a concern, I should say, when you're, you know, lifting, leveling, putting wheels and tires on a truck. You know, nobody wants their tires to rub, uh, at least not rub badly. So this truck does have a bit of trimming, which I'll show you here in uh, some footage here. I had to trim a little bit of the inner liner and um, and just just a small little area on the actual cab side of the truck. Now the front side of the truck, on the bumper side, there has been no trimming done on this. Um, and I'm going to show you here, we are on a flat surface. And there's no rubbing. So I'm still not nothing. Now there is some bumps here. And you can see it rubs there but if you are any less than full um, full lock it will not rub as you can see um, it, it will if at full lock it won't rub on flat surfaces if you're any less than full uh, lock we'll go over those same bumps here and there's no rubbing. So just at, at tight, tight, I mean, all the way locked is where you have the issues. Um, same with the right side. Obviously, they're, they're exactly the same. We trimmed the same amount. So a uh, full lock um, on this truck and on a flat surface, you're fine. But if you do have any bumps at full lock, you will rub. So very drivable still. I mean, you can really, really turn just about as sharp as you want to. The rubbing that it does have is very, very minimal. So it's not like you're gonna destroy the vehicle or the tire if you just have a couple occasions like, like I just showed you where there's a little bit of rubbing. So uh, nothing too bad. I probably, I would say that this truck could be trimmed a little bit more and it'd probably be just fine. Um, but the owner just hasn't got around to that yet so it's not like i said it's not too big of a deal anything any less aggressive of an offset of this tire size i think you would be just fine with very very minimal trimming as you can see this truck is really it, it's it's a great looking truck it's still very functional and uh overall i think the owner's really happy. I'm happy about it. It's a cool, cool, cool truck, and I'm really uh, privileged to drive it. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to try to keep this video short. Uh, we're going to do some other videos on the truck itself, but this one I specifically just wanted to talk about, you know, the, the size of a tire you can put on this truck with just a leveling kit. So hopefully that helped anybody out that is looking to do this type of build, and, and you want to know what the limitations are of your truck if you have this truck specifically. So again, I hope I helped somebody out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.